1961. I was 11 or 12 years old. And um, my mom sent me out to the garage to clean out the back seat of our Nash Rambler station wagon because we were going to be going to a drive-in movie that night. So I had to clear out all the toys and the comic books that my two brothers and I had left there. And my mind in those days already at the ripe young age of 11 or 12 had a habit of just churning all the time, just, just buck, 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 all this kind of um, anxiety laden inner conversation going on that I think a lot of people are familiar with. But at that point, I was already so habituated to it that I, I, I didn't realize I was caught up in that because I was caught up in that, you know? Sure. Um, so I'm out there in the garage by myself picking up these comic books. And the next one that I pick up is a mad magazine. And on the cover is actually, I, I got to put the picture in the book here. Um, on the cover, as usual, is Mads grinning idiot mascot, Alfred E. Newman. And as usual, there's his slogan, what me worry. And suddenly my mind stopped. It just went completely deliciously silent. And what happened was I realized that that anxious churning that was going on habitually in my mind is, a, is suddenly I realized that that was in fact a thing that was going on, that it was called worry, and that I was doing it. That the, the reason that that engine, so to speak, was revving all the time was that my foot was on the gas. It wasn't happening to me, I was doing it. And having suddenly seen that clearly, really just like a lightning bolt of clarity, uh, having seen that, I knew, oh, I can take my foot off the gas pedal. And my mind went silent. And really, at that moment, it was as if the top of my head opened up and merged with the sky. And really, I went into what, you know, some not too long later, about five, six years later, when I started reading books of Eastern wisdom, went, oh, this is called Samadhi or Satori or over on the other side of the ocean. It's called grace. And it's not just some weird freak thing. It's, it's what it's all about. It's the fundamental beingness of life. It's been known by sages for centuries. And you don't have to wait for it to happen to you accidentally like that. You can cultivate it systematically through meditative practices.